What up, y'all? DC Fago Guy. Today we're going to be reviewing the Monstar Click with Game Ain't Safe. It is their, uh, I guess you would say, debut EP. Um, if you don't know what the Monstar Click is, it's light, it's straight jacket, it's schizo, and it's project born. Everybody that is on Monstar Entertainment right now, which is Light's label, um, going into this, I wasn't really knowing what I was, I didn't really know what I was going to expect. Or what my expectations were. I've been familiar with Light. I've been familiar with Straight Jacket. You know, got hip to Light. Obviously, when he signed to Psychopathic and released the Psychopathic Monstar. And Straight Jacket, I've been following for a long time. His name first popped up on my radar with ABK and the Shapeshifter Prelude. You know, he did the production for the middle. He did the he did the production for Call Me Crazy, and it, immediately his name stood out to me. So when Big Hoodoo used him on Asylum. I took note of the beats that I liked. You know, he did The Yard. He did Asylum. And, I, you know, I've been following Straight Jacket for a while. And, you know, not long after listening to him with the Psychopathic Monstar, because he produced the red version, the intro, and then uh, No Sleep is his production. About that time is when I realized that Straight Jacket did more than just producing. Now, to be truthful, I didn't go listen to all of his albums. I went and listened to Closure, and I really enjoyed Closure. Uh, what I will say about Closure, and I had this conversation with uh, a homie, the homie Gage, a.k.a. Wasteland Waldo, um, that with Straight Jacket, especially with Closure, like, it's kind of a juggalo horrorcore album, I feel, but he does really good. And I feel like since then, he's really, really leveled up. Like, he's taken his music to a whole nother level. He's taken his rapping to a whole nother level. Obviously, he's, he's been doing some stuff with Twisted. Obviously doing some stuff with Light. I'd like to see where he's going to continue to go. Um, so when they announced their projects, you know, Monstar linked up. They announced at Lights Out 5 that Schizo was on the was on the label and Project Born was on the label. And they were, they were going to be releasing EPs this year, starting with this one. And then everyone was going to be dropping one. Going into this, I was kind of like, all right, I'm definitely hyped for Light. Definitely hyped for Straight Jacket. Never heard Schizo, but I will definitely check it out. And Project Born, admittedly, um, I think it was Born Dead 3 came out. I tried to check it out at the time. I wasn't fully feeling it. Uh, so I am planning to listen to whatever Project Project Born comes out with um, open-mindedly. Very open-mindedly. So going into this, I was kind of having those same mentalities. Like, I knew Light was going to kill it. I had very high expectations that Straight Jacket was going to kill it, especially on production, which I'm going to assume he did beats for all of this project, and he killed it. Well, no, I know he didn't do one for one because they actually have the little producer tag still in there. Um, so I know for sure he didn't do one. I think it's heavy. But, um, yeah, what can I say about this, man? They took the theme of the album, Game Ain't Safe, gas, and they fucking went with it. Everybody brought fucking heat. Absolutely love it. So, um yeah, they really they really knocked it out of the park for me. There's only seven tracks on here, which I think is honestly perfect that it's not like a full length album. I feel like this gave us a right dose of what they're planning to do for this year. And then I don't know, I can't remember. They did a live stream a couple months back. I think the plan is for them to each release like EPs now. If if somebody from Monstar is watching, you can drop a comment down below to correct me. Or if somebody who knows if I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments. Always make sure I'm bringing correct information. But um, I think that's the plan is they're going to release EPs this year, which really, really, really has me stoked. And in that live stream, I actually kind of mentioned to Straight Jacket that I feel like because he's kind of moving on from his old projects, which is another thing that makes me think he's going in a different direction musically. I don't think he's necessarily trying to be horror core anymore or like a juggalo rapper if you will um i think he's just going to let his creativity go where he wants to go with it and do what he wants to do with it which is great which is what i think he should do um you know because he, he released pushing daisies last year absolutely love it but um i feel like i'm starting to lose my train oh i had put in there that i think he should release physical copies of closure to kind of bring a closure to that chapter to open up the new one so um i know i'm not really buying physical media right now but if closure gets a physical release i'm definitely scooping that bad boy up i don't have a physical copy of this again i just stated i'm not really buying physical cds right now if you haven't watched my video time to retire um i haven't been buying physical cds the truth the, most, the ultimate truth behind it has been i've spent so much money on cds and i'm just kind of in a mindset right now of like am i not 
setting up my future financially. And then also I have two CD towers. The one behind me that you can see is basically full. And another one off frame is almost full. And when they're full, I have no room for CDs. Uh, the homie, the one jewels pointed out this big empty space right here next to me. This is a temporary space. We're planning on moving things around in the shelves and display pieces are going to be moved around. That's kind of why this is empty right now because things are in kind of movement. That's why this is just sitting here like this. It normally sits on like a little art easel. Um, so, and, and these are, I don't know if you can hear that. That's, that's like tin metal. It's very thin. And the weight of CDs on that makes me kind of worried about the structure of this because this whole thing this is not just one shelf the whole thing all the way down is one whole shelf i'm on a tangent about stuff i shouldn't be in this review um so but yeah right now i'm not really buying physical cds but i i do i would like to get this on cd because i want to support these guys i want to support what they're doing because this album is fucking fire they brought the fucking gas they brought the heat they brought the flames so it's only seven tracks i'm gonna give you my top three songs which is Can't Stop Us, Another Level, and Soldier's Code. Now, right now, I'm not really doing the snippets like I used to. Um, I, I, I wish I was. I just It's a lot of extra effort to record, because, especially since I don't have the physical CD to rip the audio files. It's a little extra work on the editing part to put the snippets in there, but I would highly recommend going and checking it out. It's on all digital uh, streaming platforms right now. Go check it out. Go listen to it really fucking dope i honestly so soldier's cold is my favorite track but another level is really close to getting that spot too because it like when the song first started off it, it threw me off just a tiny little bit because it's like we on a whole nother level 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 and then the beat comes in and it just you know what i'm just gonna i'm just gonna play it for you guys real quick so let me make sure this isn't too terribly loud let's just play this real quick because i have everything pulled up okay Listen to this shit, right? This is fire. Again, I'm going to assume this is Straight Jacket on the beat. And Straight Jacket kills it. This is a whole level, 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 Wait for that beat drop. Level, 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 level. Yeah, I got the Midas touch. Everything is gold. I'm about to take it to a level you ain't seen before. High as a airman, tough as polar bear. That's all you guys get. Go listen to it for yourself. But that shit is fucking fire. And that's just one little example of what I'm talking about with this with this EP, man. They brought the fucking heat. And uh, as much as I love that and as much as, as hype as that shit gets me, Soldier's Code is such a laid back kind of track. And I'm curious for like Mike Sears, because I know he's a real big hip hop head, how he feels about that. I've, I've literally seen nobody talk about this project at all. And that, that sucks. I know a lot of people really weren't feeling light. I know he's kind of the chopper style. And I think everybody's kind of burnt out on that with tech. And they feel like tech's gone mainstream. So maybe that's why people weren't fucking with light. I, I don't know what people's excuses are. But I feel like this project here is getting slept on. And I'm very curious what a lot of the hip hop heads out there feel about Soldier's Code. Because that's like, to me, that's some hip hop shit right there. So... Yeah, the game ain't safe. Monstar click, straight jacket light, project born, and schizo. Tell me down below what you guys think of this project. If you have heard it, if you haven't heard it, go check it out. I think it's at least worth one listen. And then if you love it, there you go. You got some fucking killer music. And if you're not feeling it, then I hey, understandable. At least you gave it a try. But anyway, tell me down below what you guys think about the game ain't safe from the Monstar click. I thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.